To a beaver, a culvert pipe under a road probably looks like a hole in a dam. With a little work, a beaver can quickly plug a culvert with mud and sticks and turn the entire roadbed into a large dam. This is why block culverts are the most common beaver issue we see. Highway departments often spend significant amounts of time and money repeatedly clearing beaver dams from culverts. A block culvert can wash out a road, cause tens of thousands of dollars in road and property damage, and create serious public safety issues. Since road culverts are very common beaver damming sites, there are important financial and safety reasons to protect culverts from beaver damming. The trapezoidal culvert protective fence was invented by Skip Lyle in the 1990s. When built and installed properly, it will completely eliminate beaver damming of a culvert. It works in three ways. First, the perimeter of the fence is 40 to 50 feet long. Since this is a lot more to dam than a culvert, beavers will usually choose to dam elsewhere. Second, if the beavers try to dam anyway, the fence forces them to dam in a direction away from the culvert. This also discourages them. Third, the further they dam out in the fence, the wider the area the stream is flowing into. Therefore, the damming stimuli of the sound and feel of moving water decrease the further they dam on the fence. If the sides of the fence are at least 12 feet long, the beavers will generally leave the fence alone. These three reasons make the trapezoidal shape the ideal shape to prevent beavers from damming a culvert. To be effective, however, a culvert fence must be surrounded by a couple feet of water so the beavers will need to dam the entire fence perimeter. In areas where the stream bed is narrow rather than wide, the fence must be narrow so that it is surrounded by water. Being narrow loses one advantage of the trapezoidal shape, but it can still deter beavers from damming the culvert. Since beavers are excellent diggers, a fence floor is always needed to prevent beaver tunneling under the fence. I learned this the hard way. The culvert fence walls only need to be 24 inches above the water line since beavers do not climb. Beavers love to block culverts. With a little work, they can create a large pond. To unblock the culvert, first remove the large sticks. My dog Casey is a typical supervisor. He does little work himself, is very nosy, and slows me down. A clam or potato rake works very well to remove the dam. Try to minimize the amount of mud that is washed downstream to protect fish habitat and water quality. To prevent flooding damage, never release more water than the stream channel or downstream culverts can handle. So I'm going to measure out the dimensions we're going to have this uh, fence with the tape measure. By wading out into the water with posts and a tape measure, you can determine the dimensions for your fence. In addition, you will learn how deep the water will be after the pond drains to the culvert level. Put those posts where I want the corners of the fence to be and measure it out. We've got 17 feet on the side and 12 feet across and then 17 feet back. So now I know the dimensions to construct this on dry land. Create a safe staging area to begin making the walls of the trapezoidal fence. Make a 90 degree bend along the length of the fence. To determine the wall height, add two feet to the depth of the water. Thankfully, beavers don't climb, so two feet above the water level is fine. Cut slots in what will be the floor of the fence so that the walls may be bent to make the corners of the trapezoid.
Once both corners are made, the sections can be joined with hog rings to make the 12 foot long wall. Overlapping the fence sections by six inches makes the walls very strong. Additional fence panels are bent to complete the 17 foot long side walls. Adjust the corner angles of the fence and set the opening based on the culvert width. Once the angles and opening are correct, fasten the flooring with hog rings. Initially, I did not put floors in my fences. Much to my dismay, beavers soon tunneled under the walls of a few of my fences and plugged the culverts. So now, I always put floors in every fence. Once the floor is completed, the entire fence can be dragged to the culvert. Center the fence over the culvert. Pontoons fastened to the underside of the fence make maneuvering the fence into place much easier. Remove the pontoons once the fence is in position. Add pieces of fence to eliminate any gaps between the trapezoidal fence and the head wall of the culvert. Heavy duty metal fence posts and galvanized wire secure the trapezoidal fence in place. This trapezoidal fence completely stopped beaver damming of the culvert. <laughs> 